Hi, my name is Jim Byrne, Principal Systems Engineer for Data Pivot Technologies. And today I'd like to go over a Commvault disaster recovery for a single site. Now this would be a typical site where you just have one place and you send your backups off site. Like in the old days, we'd just send tapes off to Iron Mountain or something like that. And in this example, we're gonna show uh, going off to the cloud and then doing a recovery. So let me just give you a quick overview of the uh, of site one. Now site one, is very simple. It's basically just got VMware in it. It's not that big. It's got some VMs, some Microsoft SQL, ComServe, Media Agent. It's got some backup storage here. And our back, our retentions are very simple. We're just going to keep 30 days on prem. So that's to recover anything right away in case somebody uh, deletes a VM or something. You want very fast recovery. It'll be local. The second thing is we're going to send these things off to the cloud. And I'm going to keep 30 days up in the cloud because I want a subset of what I have on-prem because if I have to do a DR somewhere, I want I want that. And then for compliance, I need to have month-end backups. So we'll take a backup at the last day of the month and uh, we'll keep each one of those backups for a year. It's fairly simple. And the backups run every day at 6 p.m. So they're just nightly backups, including weekends, Saturday and Sunday. Now, what I'm going to go through here, one of the nice things about Commvault is it has deduplication, so I can save a lot of space. So we're going to use a, a deduplication database dash L, L for local, and we're going to use backup storage that's on-prem. This other one here is DDB dash C, C is for cloud. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up my VMs locally, leveraging this DDB, then I'm going to send a copy out to the cloud, and I'd like that deduplicated too. So I'll have a second deduplication database on my media agent and I'll shoot that out to the cloud. Now, the reason why that's important is for example, let's say I had 10 terabytes in the environment and I'm backing up every within incrementals and whatnot, say it's 15 terabytes a week, fulls and incrementals. And then I've got four weeks in a month, right? So that's 15, 30, 60. So that's 60 terabytes that you're gonna have to, if you were doing it the old way with tape. Now deduplication, you could easily get 10X, no sweat. So that 60 terabytes goes right down to six. So it shrinks it right down. So on-prem, I'm gonna have six terabytes. Now, if I wanted to copy that 60 terabytes off-prem, some solutions don't have deduplication to the cloud. So the problem you run into is you have to rehydrate that data and send 60 terabytes. That's, that's a lot of money uh, to store up in the cloud. And it also slows you down because you gotta send it over the, over the internet. So what we can do with Commvault is I'm gonna take my data here copy it here to my second DDB, and we're gonna shoot it out to the cloud. So I'm gonna send out six terabytes instead of 60. So we're gonna save money and it's gonna be a lot faster. So that's the basic operation of our environment day to day. That's how it's going. Now, as far as a DR site, uh, the customer didn't wanna spend any money on one. So what they were gonna do is they were just gonna do a DR to go. <laughs> um, basically, wherever we go, we're gonna bring the data with us from the cloud. In the old days, uh, I had a customer one time years ago that had a uh, backup appliance sitting in a colo and if there was a disaster they'd crate the thing up and ship it <laughs> so that was truly to go but in today's world we're going to use the cloud and it's going to follow us to wherever we want to do this recovery now the dr to go site could be uh, aws it could be uh, azure it could be google um, maybe you've got um, another data center or you have another company or another branch office or something like that so they would have a server sitting there for you. So it's very flexible. So you either can pick a site that's got a hypervisor like VMware or Hyper-V or just do it in the cloud. You can just use AWS, Azure, Google, you name it. So wherever you're gonna do this, you're gonna spin up a ComServe and you're gonna spin up a media agent. Now, ComServe has a nice feature in it where you can back up uh, the ComServe to the Commvault cloud. It comes with the products free. And what's great is that too is in the cloud. So when I get over here, I can recover my ComServe, recover the uh, ComServe from the Commvault cloud. So now I've got a functioning ComServe. ComServe is like the brains of the operation to keep track of the backups and when they're supposed to go, when it was backed up, where, where everything's located, that stuff. The media agent is the guy that does the work that moves the data around. So all I have to do for this guy is connect back to the cloud which is very easy. I just, you know, fill in the uh, credentials that I need for um, for the cloud. Now, what's great is if you're, I know everybody's usually organized and they have their keys, but if you don't have them, don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> the keys are stored in the ComServe. So when you go into the software to configure back to the cloud, you just basically share the path that was over here 
to this guy and the credentials are right there so you can get in and do what you need to do. So you can start do, doing your backups and your recoveries. Now, I wrote this down here for a reason. The DDB is not needed for the restore. That's a big deal. A lot of, a lot of the, um, products out there that are doing deduplication, if they don't have their, their deduplication database, they can't function. Commvault has a very um, elegant architecture where they have what they call a split catalog. So half the stuff is here in the ComServe. Probably actually, data-wise, it's very small. Probably, if you looked at um, the actual size of it, it's probably like 5%. But it's got a very small database in here to keep track of everything, where the jobs are, when to run, th run things. Your DDB information is kept right here inside of the backup storage with every chunk that's written out. The deduplication information is in it, so it's backed up. It's also here, too. So every chunk that goes out to the cloud, the, uh, D the DDB information is there, too. So when we go to do a recovery, I get my ComServe back, point back to the cloud, I'm good, I can start restoring. So we can start restoring our VMs and we can start restoring our SQL servers. And then in the meantime, I can be recovering my DDB because I might be here for a while. So we're gonna wanna do some backups while we're figuring out what to happen to site one. Maybe it's just some cleanup or who knows what we have to do to get that back. But while, while this is down, I can be up over here I'll be able to back up and I can replicate to the cloud. Now, if I do happen to um, come through some storage, I could also, like, let's say this was um, on-prem and we we're doing VMware or something. Um, I could have uh, maybe a NetApp on site or something there that I could be using for backup storage. But if you're in the cloud, you don't have anything, don't worry about it. Just use your Azure or your, or your blob storage. And nice thing up in the cloud, um, that storage has, you know, like five nines of reliability. So right off the bat, it's very reliable. So I hope that um, helps you understand uh, some of the really uh, key advantages to Commvault when you're going to do recoveries. You can have one site and just be running and getting your stuff out to the cloud. This is like, you know, old school Iron Mountain, everything's right there. And then if a disaster does come, you can just spin up a site for yourself, spin up a ComServe and a media agent. You have everything you need right there in the cloud. You can start restoring your VMs and your SQL and then Later on, if you need to stay there for a while, you can recover the DDB because there are backups for that inside the cloud. And that will restore that. And then you can run there for as long as you need to, or maybe you stay there, who knows? But uh, yeah, it's very, it's a very elegant solution. So um, with that said, if, if you have any questions about how to do this, if you have a single site and how you'd like to recover to the cloud or an alternate site, uh, let us know. We'd be glad to set up a meeting with you and uh, discuss what you need. And you can also reach us by uh, sending us an email to contact at datapivottech.com. And I thank you for your time today.